It's the Gina Tribbiani Comedy Hour. She'll be here all week. <laughs> Gina! Ma. Hello? Gina, you're a crazy woman. Uh-huh. <laughs> That was bad for your baby. That was 20 years ago, Mom. They totally knew. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, my God. Wow. Seen enough? Oh, yes. Yeah. So? What's going on? I got this high-strung girl who's locked herself in her dressing room. What should I do? Well, how much has she had to drink? She hasn't had anything. Well, then what are you asking me for? Oh, my God, Joey! Gina! Oh, I forgot. You haven't seen him. Huh? What do you think? They're new. I went up three cup sizes. The doctor was reluctant. <laughs> Come on, touch him. Uh, uh, let's get my bag. I'll fill you up in the car, I promise. Ooh, except for her, what a tramp. That's a mirror, Gina. Damn it, that is me. Why are you gonna walk around naked in public? Because I like to make the world smile. Oh, and I know exactly what we're gonna do. Have you ever wrestled another woman for prizes? That'd be fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> should have been at the last reunion. Everyone looks like crap. They've either gotten fat or had weird plastic surgery. Dumbasses. Hey. Ow! Hmm? Hello? Yeah, uh, no, no, Joey doesn't want the house. Take the other off. It's Susan! Hey, it's Joey. Listen, I want to... Ow! What is the matter with you? Which one of us is the bigger pain in the ass? Gina, I don't have time for this. I have a big problem. Just pick one. <sighs> Fine. Gina, you are the bigger pain in the ass. Told ya. Hello, Susan. Hi, this is Gina Tribbiani. Tribbiani? That's an Anglo-Saxon name, right? Uh, sure. Stagianda Batastanza. Prabere caro tondo tondo. Are they talking about me in Italian? No, they can't speak Italian. They just like to pretend they can. Tadagio! She thinks we're married. What the hell? We're married. Well, aren't you gonna kiss your wife? <laughs> Thanks. You want to stop thinking about sex? <laughs> what the hell are you doing? That's disgusting. You're my sister. Do you have any children? Oh, I actually do. I have a son. Uncle Joey. Hey, wow, man. Oh. Why don't you drop by and, and bring your little boy along? My little boy? Oh, nothing like a young boy sitting on the couch watching porn with his uncle's friend. Uh, I'm like, nice name. I'm sorry, did I pick a weird name for the robot baby I had my sister? <laughs> I say, what is Michael now, 20? Yeah, don't I look incredible for the mother of an adult son? Mm -hmm. It's the good thing about having a kid so young. Well, you rarely hear the argument 14 pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> Seen the breasts? See, look, she made me touch her! Oh, and by the way, told him I had him when I was 22. I don't want him to think his mother's a tramp. Uh, I'm not dressed for Vegas. Gina, you're always dressed for Vegas. <laughs> oh, ma'am, I'm sorry, but we're not reading for the part of angry prostitute till tomorrow. Don't judge people by the way they dress. Oh, I'm not an actress, but thank you. <laughs> you were not gonna believe this. The director thought I was an actress. Well, sure, that's because you got big fake boobs and you're crazy. Please. I don't need it. Uh, you said the same thing about therapy. I'm not sure you're right. You stabbed your last boyfriend. In the leg! <laughs> Tina Tribbiani, hairdresser to the stars. Sounds better than hairdresser to mostly Dominicans. Uh-oh, uh not okay. Oh, you speak English. <laughs> Five years. I only started cutting hair because Channel 5 exposed me as the Southland's most dangerous dental technician. I didn't hit your car! You wouldn't know if I hit your car. I just totally hit that guy's car. <laughs> girl, that's a freaking joke. I went to cosmetology school with that girl, and she was terrible. She burned way more hair than I did, and I burned some hair. <laughs> now I have to read about her living the glamorous life and rubbing elbows with celebrities. That should be me. You cut my hair, I'm on TV. No offense, but you're only slightly more famous than my client who shot her husband. My new show, Deep Powder, is premiering next week, and someone gets to come with me to the party as my guest. 
Joey, you should pick me because I've loved you, supported you, and Michael's socially awkward, and Alex can't hold her liquor. Good points, good points, okay. <laughs> I thought it'd be nice if I took my sister. Really? You don't want to bring a date? Nah, I could bring a nice girl, but I'd rather bring you. I know exactly what to wear. I got this new outfit. The top is just suspenders. No, no, no. I haven't seen it, but maybe that's not the one. If you want, I have one that my husband always says would look great on you. Is that weird? <laughs> this is so exciting. We're going to a big premiere. I know. It's going to be great. Huh? I don't want anyone to laugh at me. Oh, my God, Gina. You look ridiculous. No, no, you look great. She looks so uncomfortable. Oh, I know that look. She's wearing underwear. Oh, my God, Mom, look at you. No cleavage. <laughs> Where are you going to keep your car keys and your flask? I have to carry a handbag. <laughs> Still be dirty on the inside. <laughs> All right, but you know what? Let's set a couple of ground rules first, OK? No drinking, no cursing. No fighting, no spitting. No, you guys might want to go. We're going to be a while. Hey, I'm sorry to bug you, but uh, did you get some of my mail by mistake? I didn't get my People magazine. Gina, weren't you reading that earlier? What's the problem? I'm not good enough to steal your magazine? Never see it, Uncle Jim. No, that's OK. You don't need to leave us alone. She had such a pretty face. <laughs> OK, ladies and gentlemen, modeling an original Gina Tribbiani hairstyle called the Nice and Nasty. I'll give you Alex Garrett. Whoa. Now that's a neighbor. <laughs> Come on, get your camera. I want to get some pictures. You look so different. I, I can't believe you own an outfit that slutty. Hey, that's mine. I wear that to church. <laughs> that's why we had to change churches. <laughs> Aren't I a fun mom? Didn't I buy a case of beer for you and your friends on your 18th birthday, huh? Yeah, then you drank it yourself. I never drank alcohol before I was 21. <laughs> <laughs> She's right. Yeah. Come on. Just give me a chance. Plus, I can help you with the women. Call her now. No, no, no. Wait three days. Take her to dinner and a movie. Bring her a slice and some porn. Joey, that's disgusting. Worked on all of your friends. <laughs> move I like to call the reverse. Huh? <gasps> How dare you? I will see you in court. I think I'm just going to go up to the girl and start talking. OK, just make sure you're nice to her. Yeah, but not too nice. Compliment her. Ignore her. Compliment her, then ignore her. Yeah. <laughs> OK. I'll be your girlfriend. OK, Mom, no. <laughs> we could be a couple. Aren't we a cute couple? People go to jail for things like yeah. that. Well, I think it'll be easier if you sit here and I bring you girls. What do you like? Big chest? <laughs> you don't think I'm sexy enough? I mean, come on. This is the body of a 22-year-old. I mean, look how tight my... Please stop. <laughs> what did you say? Well, first of all, oh, so tight. <laughs> and uh, I could do it. Alex, you're a married woman. Is that really appropriate? You know the word appropriate. <laughs> I forget how sensitive she can be. <laughs> And classy. Seth. Sorry I'm late. I had a congratulatory phone call from Stephen Hawking. An honor, sure, but just. How could you? What? First you break up with me, and then you show up here with this tramp? No. So, you're a hairdresser. Would you do anything different with my hair? Let me see. Turn around for a sec. Great body. Really great body. OK, enough, enough, Gina. Hey, Alex. Hey, Alex. You know, Alex, you and me should hang out more. What? You know, do more girly stuff, like drink too much wine, massage each other. <laughs> you ever seen the movie Wild Things? Hey, I thought Mom and Dad sent you to a camp to get over that. <laughs> you ever have that with someone? Just this, this hot, raw, Animal connection when you lock eyes, you, you burn for their touch. Alex, do you burn to be touched? Huh? Don't do that! <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. Hey, Gina, listen, um, 
I think you're a really interesting woman. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you're working way too hard there, Glenn. Gina wasn't the most conservative lady in high school. I mean, she went through football players like she went through basketball players. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Wah, 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 wah. Well, you can change the outfit, but you're still the same old pain in the ass. <laughs> you want to go out with this guy? No, I will try to control myself. I am only a woman. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know that much about him. Let me ask you a few questions. What kind of car do you drive? A uh, pickup truck. Oh, can we drive around and have Joey in the back like a dog? <laughs> I've already agreed to that. Okay. Will you take me to a nice restaurant? What constitutes a nice restaurant? Ketchup in a bottle. All the crackers I want. <laughs> do you need a salad bar? I am not the queen of England. <laughs> no, no, no place. All right. Pick me up at 7. All right. Mm. Allow me, ma'am. Ma'am? Oh, thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> Oh, you and Gina, yeah. huh? Everybody wants me. All right, well, let me tell you something. That is my sister, OK? If you do anything to upset her, you're going to get the beating of a lifetime. And then she's going to come after me. <laughs> Can I get anything for the lady? So chivalrous. Yes, I'll have another Everclear and Gatorade. I need a drink. Sound just like Dad. Dad didn't drink. Oh, I know, but your voice is deep like a man. <laughs> Um, I think I could use some of that wine you took. Uh... <laughs> you drank it all? Well, you were gone for like 20 minutes. One coffee and one tequila, please. <laughs> you have massive breasts. <laughs> Two coffees, please? You cannot keep a secret. Telling the school nurse you gave me vodka to help me sleep was not betraying a confidence. <laughs> I was starting to need it. Snow globe? Oh. A bar with tequila. You tried putting together a tricycle without a man around. I was saving it for a special occasion, but I got a bottle of champagne in the fridge. Let's say we pop it open and we'll toast new beginnings. Uh. Hey. Morning, roomie. So, tell me about last night. Uh, yeah, I don't really want to talk about that. Somebody's really taken to the bachelor life. <laughs> yeah. Joey. You spent the night in his room? Please tell me she didn't sleep in your bed. I slept on the floor. Don't worry. Not everyone wants to kill their daddy and marry their mommy like you. That was one drawing I did. <laughs> what are you doing here? I let myself in. You have a key? Yes, I made one for emergencies. When you turned down that hit show, it was a very dark time for you. I thought you might do something drastic. I wasn't going to kill myself. Really? Didn't even think about it? <laughs> Mom, maybe you shouldn't have a key. Fine, if it's such a big deal, you can have the stupid key back. That was too easy. You have another one. Oh, good job, Nancy Drew. Here. How many more do you have? We can do this all day. What are you so happy about? It's Michael. He's sick. And that's a good thing? Yeah, a sick boy needs his mother. I'm necessary again. Oh, look at him. He looks so pale. Yeah, I feel awful. I think I got the flu. Oh, don't you tease me. <laughs> Come on, sit down, honey. I want to take your temperature. Hey, Gina, look, uh, you've been here for a couple days now without a break. Why don't you let me take over, you know? Go have a little Gina time. I don't have Gina time anymore. I'm a mother. I don't go out. I don't go on dates. I don't have fun. I don't do anything for myself anymore. So you got those for Michael? <laughs> Joey on the patio now! <laughs> hey, it's always about Gina. You're dead. Okay, now, uh, Gina, back off. I don't want to hurt you. Oh, yeah? Oh! <laughs> Dear diary, Gina's mean to me. That's going straight in the book. Oh, yeah? What? No! Oh! I'm gay for David Cassidy! Hey, nice dress. Oh, yeah? Nice face. Yeah, Gina. <laughs> Why is anger always your first response? I really don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, thank you, dear. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to go get a drink. <laughs> I am gonna get a drink. Do you like tequila? Do I? 
You were like a sister. <laughs> oh, great. There's two of them now. I had no idea you were going to be this much fun. Well, it's funny the way people judge. I mean, tonight, I dress like this for once, and people think I'm all fancy. But if I dress the way I normally do, people would think we were prostitutes. Actually, I am a prostitute. Oh. And the lesson is, maybe I should dress different. I dress like this because my brother wanted me to. Oh, who's he? Joey Tribbiani. The actor? Hmm. Oh, I would so do him. Oh, thank you. Bear in my manners. I'm sure I do your brother, too. <laughs> How do you say this? Nomin Nominees. It took you way too long. I uh, wrote my name on the bottom of mine. Well, how will we know which one is mine? That would be the one without Alex's name on the bottom? He's so smart. Where does he get that from? I don't know. I mean, it's like he's some alien sent from another planet to make me feel stupid. <laughs> Hate being the dumbest one in the room. Where's Joey? Well, I'm here now, OK? So the dummies outnumber the aliens. <laughs> and you know, I, I wasn't going to tell you this before, but my fever's back. Oh, you're so good to me.